Paramecium caudatum is the only paramecium species that has a symbiontic relationship with green algae from the genus Zoochlorella. While paramecium provides a protective environment, the algae inside its cytosol use light energy to produce carbohydrates by photochemistry, which make paramecia less dependent on other food sources. However, excess light can damage the algae through the production of reactive oxygen species inside the chloroplasts. Therefore, plants can quench excess excitation of chlorophyll molecules by either increasing the rate of photochemistry, re-emitting the excited energy as fluorescence, or dissipating it as heat. Heat dissipation occurs through a process called non-photochemical quenching, which is a rapid mechanism using multiple molecular pathways to protect the cell. The best part for us microscopists is, we can actually observe it using a fluorescence microscope. Upon activation of this protective mechanism, less fluorescent light is emitted and more energy is dissipated as heat. That means when we hit paramecia with strong light, the intensity of the red fluorescence quickly declines. This is how autofluorescence of chlorophyll looks like when we excite the chloroplasts using blue excitation light. In this clip, we see how quickly the intensity of the fluorescence signal declines when paramecia are excited. This is an indicator of non-photochemical quenching taking place. We observe that within a few seconds there is a big intensity drop which ultimately reaches a plateau of 15% of the initial fluorescence intensity observed. Algae usually recover when exposed to such strong light, as they have to face such situations in nature as well. However, with the extremely focused light of a microscope, we can push the algae to their limit, saturating the capabilities of their protective mechanisms. When these systems are saturated, more and more reactive oxygen species are produced instead, leading to the oxidation of all macromolecules, ultimately killing the cell.